A big thank you and a shout out to my Patreon supporters above me. Thank you guys. You mean so much to me. You've been a great support in 2019. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Titans of Space. This is the A Plus Edition and this is on Oculus Quest. Now this is a really, really good educational title. I played the game on the Rift a few years ago. And also my son, who was five years old at the time, at school they were doing all about the solar system and the universe. And he went into this experience, learnt all about the planets, the sun, how big they were, and he got top marks at school. So that's a good idea of the potential of this um, application. Okay, let's start the game. Okay, select a menu, English. Please stand or sit in a comfortable position. Okay, here on the main menu, we've got some options here. We've got button interaction type. I'm going for point and click, which is recommended. I am standing up. The game does recommend a sitting position. And I would highly recommend you go sitting for, if you need to VR. You're in like a spaceship and you're going around the uh, service system, that sort of thing. Sensitive to motion? No, I'm not. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so now I've got the option for a full tour, which is 25 minutes. And you visit all the planets. A short tour is a 50 minutes. Well, this avoids all the moons. So I'm going to do the short tour for this video. And there's the tour map. So these are all the locations you travel to. And behind me is the uh, the Milky Way, that looks amazing. Now the last time I tried this experience was on the Rift. And already I can see a massive difference in the graphic fidelity and the clarity. This is really super clear. Okay, let's start the tour. So this is the 15 minute short tour. Okay, here we are. So I'm in this like little spaceship thing look, like a little shuttle. I'm not going to read all the text, you guys can read the text. Here comes the moon. And this is what I'm telling you about, this gives you a really good sense of the scale of the uh, solar system. That sun looks massive. And this is all in 3D, so, so if you need to be off, if you're watching this video for the first time, I'm in a 3D solar system, guys. And this is all three-dimensional. So epic. Okay. Welcome to the Titans of Space holographic tour of the solar system. So I'm going to click the uh, ready button and we're going on the tour. Now you get information about all the planets in front of you. So when you see the yellow button, you get uh, additional information. It tells you all the facts about the Earth and everything. Look. We're now on autopilot and we're flying through the solar system. Here's Mercury. Super sharp, super smooth so far. That sun looks amazing. I swear I can feel the heat. Okay, this is Mercury. Now if you do the full tour, you go around all the moons as well. So you fly around all the moons. Coming up to Venus. And what's so good about this application is my son, he knew all the planets. So as soon as he saw like Mars, he said, I'm coming up to Mars. In fact, I'll show you a clip of my son playing this game on the Rift. And you can see um, some of the moons on Mars. Look, there's uh, Phobos.
Again, this makes you really appreciate how big Jupiter is. I really like a 3D cloud layer there as well, pretty cool. So far this is an impressive port from the Rift. And like I said on the Oculus Quest, super sharp guys, it looks amazing. Okay, here's Saturn, Saturn's rings. I can turn around, look behind me as well. And there we can see the Earth, a little uh, shadow, a little speck against the giant sun. And there's Jupiter orbiting around the sun. Flying over the rings of Saturn. There's the uh, hexagon on top. Fly through the rings. Coming up to Uranus. Again, Uranus has got rings. You can see the rings. Again, Neptune's got rings as well. Really, really cool animation on the planets. There's one of the moons. Heading over to uh, Pluto. Now I do believe this experience is using the latest images and photos so this is like a really true representation of Pluto. And you see all the little asteroids, all the little bodies that fly around it. Okay now we're flying off into the uh, depths of the solar system and I do believe we get uh, a scenic view of all the planets all lined up. That's really cool seeing the shadow of the moon around the Earth. And this is a really, really smooth experience now. Standing up, you can feel a bit dizzy, I'm feeling a bit wobbly. That's how VR works when you're standing up and you're moving like this. So this is one of those experiences I would recommend you play sitting down. There's an asteroid there like that, looks amazing. So I've got a cool uh, image of the sun. I've got the Milky Way to my right. I'm in the asteroid belt I think, there's a few asteroids around me. Okay, so now this is going to show me the sizes of the different suns, I do believe. Oh, look at that rock. There's a rock right here in front of me. Really, really cool. Okay, that's the same rock we've seen from earlier, but space has been shrunk down now. So, again, shrinking down the space so we can see the different sizes in suns. So this is our sun here, look. Again, this experience will give you a really good scope of size.
Here's Raju. Blue Giant. Blue Giant Star. Now blue stars are hotter than their orange stars. And again we get a comparison of different stars compared to our sun. And that's what's so cool about this experience guys, it really gives you a, an in insight into the size of the uh, objects in our universe. I mean look at that thing. That's a monster. And that's a red giant, I do believe. Is that a red giant? So you can get 12 billion of our suns into that red giant. Okay, look at that for scale. That is amazing. And this is something you need to see in virtual reality to appreciate it, guys. Okay, we're disappearing into the uh, red giant. And the game's got some really nice ambient sounds as well. I think that little dot is the earth. I've got a feeling the little dot there is the earth. You can see like a little black speck. There we go. Yes, that's the earth. That's where we live. Yes, the universe is a pretty big place. Amazing. Okay, so this is the actual orbit from Earth to the Sun, and you can really, you really get a good sense of the distance in VR. That is a long, long way away, guys. Okay, now we're getting a, an overview of the orbits of the planets. Again, I think this is a, on scale to how far away these planets are. Pluto's right out there, look. Okay, now the game's placing the suns in the centre of our solar system to give you a sense of scale. That was the blue one, look. So that red giant is going to more or less look at that. Wow, okay. Now that gives you a good sense of size. That's how big that sun is. It more or less reaches all the way to... I can't see the planets now. It's like Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, look. Okay, warning. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, we're going into a black hole. Okay, there you go guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you like me into space, you've got children, 
and you into the uh, user VR as an educational device then this is for you this is one to get I'll see you in the next one bye how big's that sun? Is it? How big's the earth? Is the earth small? Can you see the moon? Can you see the earth? What's the earth spin on? What's the earth spin on? Is it spinning on its axis? Where are you going to now? What's that this one called? The little planet you're coming to? Is this some, is this some big? What planet is that one? Is it Mercury? Jupiter, I don't think Jupiter's next. Which is the second one from the Sun? Begins with V. Good boy. And then you're going to fly past Earth, look. Get ready, there's Earth and the Moon. What's the red planet called you're going to fly to? Are you going to Mars? It's what? Are you going past the Moon? It gets smaller and smaller. And how big is the sun again? Ginormous number planet. This is Mars. What's that big one called? Remember, it's got a red spot on it. Well done. What comes after Jupiter? Can you remember? What's the one with the rings? Can you remember the one with the rings on it? Yeah, Saturn. Saturn, well done. Saturn. You're going to fly there, and guess what? You're going to fly through the rings. Yeah, what? I know what the rings are. Though. What? It's the, the What's the rings made of? Do you know? Yeah. Made of little asteroids, aren't they? Little rocks and dust. They're made of rocks and dust, look. You will fly over them now. Wow, is that cool? Is it big? Is Jupiter big? Is Jupiter bigger than Earth? Or is it the same size as Earth? It's a blue one, isn't it? What's the blue one called? Neptune. Neptune, well done. And there's your favourite next. What's your favourite after Neptune? What's your favourite? Begins with you. Are you flying there? Yeah. What colour is that? What colour is Uranus? <laughs> wow, it's a blue one. That's Uranus there. No, that's Neptune. You're flying and you're going past. There lot, does it say on there? And what's the last what's the last one you're going to? Pluto. Is it a planet though? No. It's not a planet. It's, planet. it's what? It's a dwarf. Is it a dwarf planet? Yeah. What does that mean? It means they're not proper like the other planets. Oh right, so they're like baby planets. Earth's not a dwarf planet, is it? Earth's a proper planet. 